Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, my friends, from Mr. Roboto and RoboJam. Today, again, we are here, continue with RoboJam India, already closing this cycle, closing this competition. We are a little bit late. We are going to hold on for a couple of minutes more. So please be with us. And we are coming. We're coming in a couple of minutes. So please be patient. We'll be back in a couple of minutes and we're going to say we are the winners of the different categories. Colorant already knows it, but we are the winners in RoboSketch and what happened with this drill. This drill, it has a special situation that we will talk about that today. Daniel Blanco, thanks for that like. Daniel is from here from Colombia, so thank you, Daniel. And we'll be back in one moment, so be with us. We're coming soon. Okay, thank you my friends for being with us today and while we are going to continue right now it's with the closing ceremony for Robo Jam India and for that we have our friend here, our Robo Jam director for India, Mr. Jay Rajendra Kadu. Jay, 
How are you today, my friend? First of all, very, very good morning. I'm fine. What about you, sir? I'm well, doing it, fine. What well, about it, you? It's a very good morning for you. It's, it's, it's a very good night for me. And let me tell yeah. you that uh, we are ready to start talking about this. So I'm going to go ahead and share our closing uh, presentation so we can start talking about everything. So give me one second. Spare with me. Spare with me. So we can do that. Yeah, yeah you right can now. have your time. No yeah. worries. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, Jay, I hope you can see it, my friend. So right now we are here. Yeah. And um, you can see it, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay, so this is what we got, my friend. So uh, we are going to close this ceremony. This is a closing ceremony, award ceremony for RoboJam India. So, Jay, tell us a little bit about how many teams we had, uh, countries, how many people we got. You can see there. So please let us know. See, there are total number of te total number of teams are twenty five in my competition RoboJam India and there are three means there are two countries from international that was first one is Tunisia and second one is Brazil right okay and uh, yes some of the international teams has also won the competition and we got also 57 people participating yes uh, in the competition so we are going to continue here tell us a little bit about the judges that were in the competition please Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> First of all, I will start with Mr. Uh, with Professor Ronak Gadaria, as he is the most senior faculty in in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. He used to be the judge in this drill, but unfortunately, we have to conduct this drill for the second time, as many of the people have done, ha as many of the people has completed the task correctly, but not in a right way. And we are so going to talk about decision. that, and we're going to talk about that in a moment, right? Okay. Yeah. And uh, second direct, uh, second judge is Paula Andrea Rivendera, uh, Rivendera from Canada. She is the director of Maple Boat Robotics, and she is she is a good friend of mine. And she was the judge of Robo Sketch, and <clears throat> she used uh, she is a robotic I means uh, she is a director as well as she is a robotic educator as well. So it was really nice to have her in my competition as a judge because she's she's having more than she's having a good experience. So it will be good for me. It was good for me that I am having such kind of judges for me. And third one, you, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> That's true. That was <laughs> Mr. <the> CEO. <laughs> there we go. I was the last one there. That's true. That's yeah. True. You helped me out a lot in your live streaming because as it is my first time. I don't know how to do all these things of live events. And you you have given me your helping hand. And just because of you, my color in the competition went successful. Thank you for that, Mr. Roboto, no, thank CEO of RoboJam <laughs> no, thank, International. Thank you, actually, for being part of this organization and being part of this dream. Because this is a dream that we started last year. And little by little, we're fulfilling so I'm going to continue. I'm all going to tell you we're going about the staff. That's you, Mr. J. Rajendra Kedu, Director of RoboJam India. Here in this competition, I was just a humble servant. I was just a humble streamer <laughs> helping you out and also as judge. Okay, my friend, is sponsors. Let, let, let's let say um, thank our sponsors. So yes. I'm, I'm going to say we have Knowledge360. Academic for Ma Academy for Mathematics with Professor Patrick Rabal. Uh, he has personal and group tuitions for standard 11 and 12 uh, mathematics, CBSE, GSEV, and ICSE board. Easy and quick learning techniques, guarantee results. He is located in Bastrapur in Ahmedabad. And also, Mr. Babin Chandor with K. Burmart. He probably supports Vocal for Local, Making India. We probably support Indian brands only. So, K. Bermart, thank you for supporting the event as well. I would like to, th I would like to tell all the sponsors mm -hmm. 
thank you so much for trusting my initialization in india because of you people i i am being successful in my first event mm -hmm. i hope i will create more opportunities for indians in future i would like to bring more talents from india in future okay just because of such kind of sponsors very good and now we're going to start with robo sketch robo sketch okay for the robo sketch we're going to tell you we only have one participant we only have one team registered yeah that doesn't mean they had an automatic uh, that they won right away tell us what was the process what they had to do uh, in order to be able to win the, this first place yeah the concept of robo sketch was like first of all the age criteria for robo sketch was 12 and under and the mm -hmm. concept given in robo sketch uh, category was to draw a given shape with that we are robot and we are going to reveal the task on the day of the competition and later on they have to complete the given task within 90 minutes right. and then they need to send a video as far as we have only one participant in robo sketch but they have did it right that is the reason why they have won the competition okay and we are going to go ahead and we're going to show everybody what is that we did in robo sketch we're going to take advantage we only have one team to be able to show the the actual um, yeah. the actual challenge so it's bear with me here while i'm going to share here the screen give me one second okay there we go i think you can see it so in robot sketch just to let you know we have the team indian royal with the robot robot king and yeah. they got 55 minutes they did in 55 minutes they have some penalties i'm going to show you how we grade it this is something no you cannot see all the time so basically we're here here have a rubric either they did it or not and if they, they don't do it, they have a penalty amount. And right, we have a formula that calculates what is the amount of minutes that the penalty gives. And we have here the notes from the judges to see what happened, what they have a penalty. This case, we're gonna see why in a moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and play for you. Okay, and we're gonna be able to see what they these kids did. I'm just gonna go ahead and forward it a little bit because in this case they try different times in this case they have to yeah. do a green diamond and there were some specific characteristics it have to be a certain width and a certain height yes minimum that they have to those requirements the robot at the end had to finish without touching the diamond so i can see here that there are two things they are have penalties for Number, the four, well, there was a mistake there, but they, you can see they did it. So there were two penalties. Yeah. Number one, in the rules, it says that the teams have to explain as they perform. They don't have to show the code when they're making it. They just have to, when they perform the challenge to see how they do it. In this case, just the performance of the actual shape. They have to, they have to explain it. And this team didn't do that. Yeah. They didn't explain it. So that was a problem. <laughs> and the other thing is that they have to uh, also, they cannot appear in the screen. That's for many different reasons. So actually, I'm going to stop sharing that. So that's two penalties. That's why he got uh, those penalties. Anyway, in the, fine, in the end, he got a uh, good he did a good job anyway so he gets first place and that's the first place in robo sketch for this team with each indian royal or also known as the robot robo king robo king you know uh, indian royal okay the next one what is happening next the next thing that happened is we're going to talk about RoboSketch. Why don't you tell us what happened with RoboSketch, please? 
Pero vos qué hecho this drill? Ah, sorry, sorry, this drill. Yeah. We're going to talk about this drill. We're just, we just saw Robuske, so this drill. You're absolutely right, my friend. This drill. So First what of all, I will, yeah. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I will start with the concept of this drill. Uh, the age criteria was for all ages. So professionals can also take the participation in this competition. And the concept of this game, was, uh, of this category was to pick up some colored disc, right? And they need to take them to a given position. And we are going to reveal as well this task on the day of the event. And after after revealing the task, they are having 90 minutes to complete it. Right. But what happened in this category is that <clears throat> many of the students, means many of the teams, have uploaded the video after 90 minutes. And few of the students have done it correctly and few of the students were, were not able to do it correctly. So we came up to the conclusion that we don't want to give winners in this category. Because right. I can see there are many of the students have completed correctly, but not in a right way. So right. it will be not fair to announce winners right now at this position. So what I, I have decided that we are going to give them chance in the second event. Okay. They don't need to pay any registration fee for that. Okay. And this so that is... they will get preparation time. Okay. So this is something that RoboJam India is giving to these teams. Is going to give them a second chance to participate. So all uh, the teams. All the all teams, teams. All the teams that participated yeah. in this in this drill. All the teams from this yeah. drill are gonna have another chance to participate again in the same uh, challenge in the next in uh, RoboJam India competition. Now, but I would like to sh I would like to recommend you that please show that two videos of that two students. Yes, I, ha I have them. the challenge. Yes, I have them ready. First one is Rakshati and second one is ICT STEM girls from Actually, Tunisia. I see we're going to see that in a moment. Uh, I'm just going to explain okay. that because of this reason what Jay just explained, we decided to declare this bacon, a bacon challenge. That means we have no winners and the organization of RoboJam India is going to give them another opportunity in the next event. Okay, so give me one second. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with you. I see I see your nephew there with you. So hello. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> we are going to go ahead and do that. Give me one second. Okay. We are going to present now. Okay, so in this drill, this is what we got. Let me let me tell me if you can see this. Yes, this is what we got. The no, I'm not able to see your screen. You cannot see my screen. So let's start. Let's stop right now, and let's try again. Okay. Okay, my friend. I think you can see it now. So we're in this drill. These are the teams, so just the spoilers. We got three teams from Tunisia, and we have five teams from India. And the, uh, we have teams that, one that didn't, we were not able to, to see the video at all because uh, whatever link they sent was not loading, so it's considered not valid. And the other one sent it after the 90 minutes, okay? Some even close to three hours after. So that's why we decided no winners is not fair because we will be against the rules since the rule said that after 90 minutes is not taken into consideration. We're just gonna go ahead and show you these two. So the first one we're gonna show is uh, Rakshetti Robot 2667 who turned it in in 134 minutes. That's two hours and 14 minutes. We're gonna and one more thing first. I would like to add in this is that why we are showing this video to everybody is that the, we also appreciate the solutions given by the student. Right. Okay. You may not win the competition, but the solution which you are going to give, we are going we are going to learn from that. So that is really important part. Okay. Very good. I'm just going to show this video. She also had some penalties because first of all, the video is supposed not to be longer than three minutes. So you send um, a video that is over 11. So we're going to see the actual, the last part of the video, okay? Which is where the solution is. Okay, and here it is. So here in this particular case, 
in the first eight minutes she's, she explains everything she's doing so she is explaining and we can tell that she did a lot of look what happened there by mistake yep she took she, st she still has it so she has to start again because by mistake what she did was that she uh yeah she forgot to drop she, she forgot this, to drop in it that blue spray right and this video uh, shows that a lot of trial and error you can see on the right side she has functions so she did functions with the green blocks with the pink blocks sorry the the ones that you create and she was able to create functions in order to pick up the color that is from uh, a certain color okay there are many different ways you can do it you can create it just to pick all the the, the disc and bring it to the center or i mean there are many ways to do this challenge so just to let the, everybody know what they have to do was this the red these have to be on the green square inside the green square the green disc inside the blue one and the blue ones inside the red square okay so they are all in different in a different color they are not in their color so that's what they had to do grab use all four of the all uh 12 of the discs and put it in different places okay so we wanted to see this we wanted to share this because she was able to do it we can also see that even though she didn't record the screen directly from the computer she uses a cell phone that's valid that's actually one of the things okay. they can do right we even saw it today in coloring that many students were using their tablets remember and 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 that's a a, a bar a very valid resource a, a, a very valid way to do it so we're just seeing how she approaches she did one side first now she's doing the other side you can do it like that and she's gonna finish right now i think the solution is very simple <laughs> it is uh, very simple like she, it's very yeah. linear it's very linear and you can tell it's just calling different blocks at this at different times i think she has completed that task in a minimum number of steps that's really good right that's actually really really good we're gonna go with the next team which was a ICT STEM three ICT girls, STEM girl yeah, T Rex yeah. from Tunisia. T Rex. Mm -hmm. So these, this one had the same problem that they actually uh, recorded a lot. <laughs> this one is over twenty two minutes. This video, so that they do have a penalty as well for many different reasons. Hello, word. I'm, I'm just going, from and they explain a lot of what they do. I'm just going to go ahead and go where they start with the solution I already saw it so it's over here in minute 20 or something like that so we're gonna start there so we can see the last minutes of the actual solution okay so we can see look they're using also the pink blocks with functions and blocks those blocks inside other blocks so that's how they were able to do it in this particular case if I'm not wrong I think they go all for one color color by color okay i think they go yes. all for the four blue yeah they go for all four blue first and they then start doing the the other ones look that she, she's the they are showing us they're showing us actually the the code yeah. so we can see it now yeah. they're going for green and compared to actually the code is much way bigger yes it, it's also however you feel more comfortable right like it's there are some people that feel more comfortable doing it step by step some other feel more comfortable doing functions okay look what happened with the robot the robot actually touched the, those blue discs as long as the discs are still inside the square no problem okay because it says that they have to be inside it doesn't say that they have to be one on top of each other they have to be in the center so as long as they're inside the red square we should be okay so look they did first blue 
first green and now they're going for red in order to finish and that's what we're going to see they actually if you see the code itself it has they finish faster the the the, the performing part of the robot yeah it, it's way more direct the other one uh, had a lot of uh code that maybe uh, was repeating right but in this one is a little bit more direct it it's it's a shame because they did such a good job but because it was sent after the 90 minutes is not considered um yeah so it's, it, it, it is kind of a, a, a shame because they did a good job they did such a good job and just because of that little detail they yeah, they working. didn't get it so see and they finish outside so we're good that was one of the requirements so that's all we wanted to share right now uh, my friend so let me just stop sharing this right now and we are actually right now showing what they did in this drill okay I'm, I'm just gonna see here we have a couple of messages Rafael says hello from Brazil Antonio Cortez says congratulations to every team he is from Mexico from Guadalajara from Monterrey sorry from Monterrey in Mexico from the uh, YouTube channel Robocord that they, you also can find a lot of tutorials there anyway now we are gonna do the next one the next uh, category which is gonna be our next category coloring it's coloring very good <laughs> okay so we're gonna start with the third place my friend yes uh before we we start with coloring let me give some briefing regarding this category as this category uh, as this competition was live and again the age criteria was for all ages mm -hmm. and the concept was that they need to navigate a maze and go to a given specific locations okay so here are the winners first uh, first place goes to Lea, uh, Leandro from Brazil, Phoenix team. Where? Okay, yeah. We are showing third place. So we will start from third place. The third place goes to the Phoenix Robotics team. Girls beat. Girls beat. Girl, I, I made a mistake there. I put girls beat, but it's girls beat. It's third place. Now let's do the sec second place. The second place goes to Robo Boy. Good boy. Mokshil Patel from Ahmedabad, Gujarat. He's just a 13 year old kid. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, like Laura, the one who got third place, and Mokshil, and, uh, and who was the other one? Shrendas? No. Um, Shreyas. Shreyas. Shreyas, yeah. Mokshil, and Laura from Brazil. They were back to back in between that second and third place. Yeah. It was there was a tight competition between it, these three competitors. It was very, very good. So congratulations to Moshil Patel who was able to get that second and place. Yeah, one more thing I need to mm -hmm. tell you that uh one really good thing mm -hmm. happened yesterday. Phoenix Robotic team told me that whatever the prize they are getting from me, they they have shared fifty percentage of it with the uh, fourth place and the fifth place of the team. Okay, wow. that means they are supposed to get forty-two dollars U.S. dollars from me as a winning prize for first and the third place. They mm -hmm. told me that do one thing, Mr. J, please share uh, half of the winning prize with the fourth place and the fifth place. That is twenty dollar. Very good. So that... and ten dollar goes for Shreyas on the fourth place, and uh, rest ten dollars are going for Greek Gors Oliver. That is Netra Patel from Ahmedabad, Gujarat. And, and that's a really good thing because basically with that money, they can register again. They can register again. It's like winning a, an actual, yeah. an actual um, a credential for the tournament. So that's yeah. a good thing because that way, I mean, it's not a lot of money, but it's the money for the registration. So you can just continue yeah. uh, doing this. So that's amazing. That's a, a really good news. And the first really place, move. the first place, yeah. I think we have to say it, Jay, it was another league, another level of crazy. Right? I know you got heart attack. I, I almost <laughs> he has broken your record attack. as well. It was you so were on good. the eighty-three. He was on eighty-one. <laughs> Man, it, it was so good. It was so good and so nice to see this, especially because it was the only team who used Python 
he was actually actual code. So it was very good. So tell us who was the first place. Yeah, yeah. The first place is Phoenix Robotics team, Cavallo. Cavallo, I think uh, the word Cavallo means horse in English. And he was actually <laughs> typing like, he was typing a code like a horse so fast. <laughs> it was it was so good, my friend. It was uh, just to let no, to let you know what they have to do on coloring in the in that uh, in the maze that they use. They have to actually do to go to different uh, numbers. I'm just gonna go number to, one and number three. Number one and number three, and and just to for the people so they have a clear idea of what we're talking about. We're gonna try to show it to maybe the people don't know or don't know the program we're going to show you in a moment okay i'm going to stop sharing this with you my friend okay and yeah we're gonna uh, you you know what i'm talking about so i'm not going to show it to you but everybody else can see it that what we're talking about is they there is a maze okay in this maze there are different uh green squares with different numbers one two three and four and different letters right now we're using the numbers so we randomly selected two numbers last week Jay did and communicated to the teams and the numbers were number one and number three so the in the competition in RoboJam Beta uh, two weeks ago the numbers were two and three so it's different because look two and three are on the same side on the left side but one is on the right side in one corner and three is in another one. So it was a little bit harder. Here in Rojan Beta, the record was 50 seconds. But in this one, the record was 81, which has, is actually really good considering it's harder. It was a little bit harder this time. Okay. So I just wanted to, to show that to everybody. Okay. Jay, my friend, we're going to continue showing this yep so the next thing i'm gonna we're gonna show and just to let you know these teams are gonna get their credentials eventually uh we will be sending them during the week so give us some time okay we're we, we're also working a lot on this so we will be sending that during the week and i also the uh, j will the organization will be contacting you the winners uh for the prices okay so you know what yes yes get. i have already given the first prize i means i have already sent the prize for brazil teams uh -huh. very last good. night only now now as it is a morning time i will send the prize for in, indian teams as well yeah the thing is that i i, I realized that when you say that last night that's last night for you but because it's tonight for me anyway yeah <laughs> anyway. i'm your future uh, don't you're, forget it <laughs> you are the future my friend literally because you are 10 hours ahead of me. Anyway, my friend, so these are the results. I'm gonna go ahead and show the results. And those results are the following. We got the team who got the first place in this competition was Phoenix Robotics team as a team, okay? They got two medals, one first place and one third place. I made here a mistake, it's actually one third place okay i yeah. apologize so one first place and one third place indian rojol who won in robo sketch got one gold medal and robo boy got one uh, silver medal so in total we only gave out four out of the seven medals that were possible because in one team in one challenge we only have one team so it's only one medal instead of three and the other one was declared bacon Okay, so by country, however, even Phoenix Robotics team won as a team by country, the winner is India because India has one gold medal and one silver medal. Brazil has one gold medal and one bronze medal. So winner will be in India this time. And unfortunately, Tunisia didn't get any medals this time. They could have, they could have win. If they will if they had sent it uh, before I'm just gonna tell everybody also Jay what's coming and what's coming is the other Robojan competitions that we have so we have India now 
soon i'm pretty sure jay is going to announce where it's going to be the next competition. yes yes i'm going to soon announce my second event very good. very soon so let us know so we're going to be there with you and we're going to have nigeria in april 23rd and 24th mexico may 22 and 23 colombia june 5 and 6 peru july 17 and 18 ecuador august 14 and 15 and in the month of September, unfortunately, I don't have it there for, for Spain, but just to let you know, we're going to have three events, each, like one each week. So we're going to have September 11, we're going to have RoboJam India. September 18, we're going to have Spain. And September 25th, we're going to have Argentina. Okay, we're still waiting for the information on RoboJam Ethiopia, which is probably going to be in uh, a little bit okay uh, it's gonna be in a bit in a little bit uh, give me one second i'm gonna see if i can help you with that jay you're sending me something let's see if i can yep. do it okay now yeah in the month of october october 30 and 31st we're gonna have robo jam all stars the all stars event is an event that we're going to have only for the winners of the local competitions. So only the winners for those the local who are going to qualify the nationals of respective countries are going to get chance That's, to represent their country in international competition by that, October 30 and 31. That is correct. So right now, that means we already have, we already have different, uh, we already have 18 teams qualified from RoboJam Beta. No, 18, no. We have six teams qualified from RoboJam Beta uh, because only the first places got direct pass in that competition. And we have four, uh, four teams right now. Uh, no, yes, four teams from your competition. So we have a total of 10 teams already classified for this. RoboJam All-Stars is going to be different. You're going to see when it comes. It's very likely we're... We're going to mix up the, 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 the rules a little bit to make it better, more exciting. Uh, and everything is based on the feedback we have received. Another thing, during this week, we're going to be sending the teams a feedback form. So please fill it out so we know what's going on. Okay, I'm going to stop here, my friend. And I'm going to leave you if you want to say a couple of words while I take a look at what you sent me. Yeah, I have sent you one video that Brazil team has sent for us. Please promote it on our channel so that people can see what review they have given to us. I don't, I don't know if, if if you have the link, please send me the link because I don't think that... I send you the video in WhatsApp. Please check it. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to download it. It's going to take a little bit, a, a little while. It's kind of heavy. So let's see if it does. If not... Um, I, rec um, well, I make a commitment that we will publish it in the Facebook page. Okay, it's right now take, taking a little longer to download. Uh, let's see, let's hope it, we download soon, we, we should be able to, to show it. Otherwise, it's very likely we will have to do it. Um, just uh, show the video in the RoboJam page. Anyway. I want to tell you something, Jay, and is congratulations. I think uh, RoboJam India was really good. I mean, we were, we were, it was the first time. And I think overall, we got to do, uh, who is, is that Jenny Lou? I think Jenny Lou is saying hi to us. Let me just check. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny. Yeah, that's Jenny Lou. I, give me one second. From Philippines. Yeah, from the Philippines. There you go. Let me just one second. And um, actually, okay. Jenny has sent some of my kids as well. That is the reason why she's coming up to see how my kids are performing ah, and what okay. results they got. Okay. Actually, she has trained some of my kids initially. Mm -hmm. So it was very kind. <laughs> it was very kind move from her. Is not. Yeah, unfortunately, this video is not playing right now, Jay. So we will have to, um, we will see it with time and we will post it in the RoboJam page, okay? 
I think that's a commitment because right okay. now it's, it's not opening. So uh, just to be sure we can put it correctly. And we want to say thank you to our friends from Brazil. It was actually, do you know what the reaction I got is? Why is Brazil competing in India? Shouldn't they compete in South America? And there is an answer for that. The answer is yes and no. <laughs> the answer is yes and no because the teams that don't have a RoboJam director can compete in any of the RoboJam competitions. Hopefully, and we recommend to be in the continent, As a, but it's not necessarily I would like to add like one over here. Yes. Yeah. If you remember, Eduardo, I told you that I'm going to represent. I'm going to bring you one representative of Brazil. And that's what we're trying to do. with us. true. Yep. So I'm, yeah. So after my event, now I'm going to talk about it. Okay. So give me a little bit time. We will get a good representative of Brazil as well. So they that's, can also arrange I, competition in Brazil. I, I, other, thing, other thing that we have to take into account is that, for example, you speak Portuguese. So for you, it was natural to get those Brazilian teams and it was easier for you because you speak the language. Yes. So that's something that we have to take into consideration as well. So no, just to, but right now, the main reason is that they can compete in any of the competitions. The yes. only condition is if you compete in one of competition and you don't win, you cannot register in another one. That's it, you only have one chance. But in this case, since they want, if they want other members of the team, cannot be the same people, other members of the team to participate in Mexico, Nigeria, or any other of the RoboJam competitions we have, even in India again, they can do it. It shouldn't be a problem. Only condition is cannot be the same uh, members, the, the same team members, they have to be somebody else. Okay. My friend, I think that's it. I think we're going to leave for today like that. Um, anyway, I just want to tell you thank you. Thank you for uh, actually being able to uh, organize this. And I think we have the video from Brazil. So I think we have it. So let me try to play it, okay? Give me one yeah. second. Let's see if I can play it. You already watched it, so I'm just going to play for the people who is watching us right now, yep. okay? Okay, let me just put this over here. And what we got? Here it goes. Uh, good morning, everyone. We are the Phoenix Robotics team from Brazil. Actually, I don't know if the audio is showing, so I'm just going to stop one second. Give me one second, my friend. Give me one second. Uh, I'm not able to see that on my screen. No, you cannot see it in your screen. So I just want to okay. check in on their side to be sure they we can see it. And we okay, okay. Give me one, one, one second. I'm just going to try to make this small to see if I can see everything here and be able to do things at the same time. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, I'm going to play. I don't know if we can see it. If, if the audio doesn't show up, let us know. Okay. Because I think, I don't know if the audio is showing or not. So that's what I want to be sure about that I can listen to the audio. Okay. Here is here goes. Bill, and we're recording this message instead of attending to the actual ceremony because of the time zone difference. But um, first, we would like to thank the event organizers, Jay Kadu and Mr. Roboto, 
for hosting this amazing competition. Um, at first, we were a little surprised by Mr. Cadu's invitation, since this was our first international event, and we weren't really sure about how the competition was going to work. Uh, but we were very excited about the challenges in the competition, and we also found it very um, inspiring that it aims to introduce robotics to talented kids at such a young age, and while also uh, encouraging the participation of women in robotics. And yeah, uh, we learned a lot, and we're very, very grateful for the opportunity. We also want to give a special thanks to Mr. Jay Kadu for his amazing help and his very uh, considerate and attentive efforts in speaking our native language, Portuguese, to make sure that we understood all the necessary information about the event. Thank you once again. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think it went well. So just to let everybody know, let me just go back to this and one second okay my friend jay are you with me there yeah yeah i'm here only okay very <laughs> good so yes actually we were able to, uh yeah it, it transmitted with the with the sound so it was a really nice really nice uh message from our friends from brazil thank you for that message um we one of the reasons we didn't have anybody actually uh, assisting at the ceremony it was for that reason time difference time zones especially right now it's monday in india kids are at school so um the many of the participants were not going to be able to attend and also brazil is almost midnight right now so we know that all we have to say jay is thanks a lot i want to thank everybody who made this possible i think that's it we we can say thank you and well we want you to be back with us for everybody who's watching us to be back with us in the next competition remember we're gonna be hosting nigeria mexico colombia peru ecuador argentina bolivia spain so be with us in all these competitions and hopefully uh, you will like it and hopefully you participate as well, right? For everybody who watch, is watching. Eduardo, I wanted to say something before we end our cl yes. closing ceremony. Yes. Yeah. As you know that this is my first event. This was my first event, right? I would like to give some special thanks to my father, my backbone. Okay. The person who has supported me day and night and the result came out like I have taken the lead of this country. To bring some good future means to bring some good competitors to represent india in future as well as i want to thanks to all my gurus teachers those who have supported me from zero and make me hero till now okay that's i want to say namaste to all my gurus gurus means teachers who is right. going to put up a light in your dark and um, wherever you are facing the problem by sharing his or her knowledge and yes special thanks to sponsors knowledge 360 mr pratik rawal a mathematician by pro by profession he is a professor he used he has shown some faith in me and sponsored me that yes you do have some abilities please go for your dreams and second mr bhavin chandore from KVM uh, Keyboard, he has also given me some money prize to show some efforts that I am putting up in creating such kind of environment in India. I hope uh, most of the people like this competition. I am going to announce my second event very soon, and I hope for the more number of participation from India. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your support and love. Namaste. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, and Jay, all I have to tell you is we have here some messages before we leave. Henry Hanko from Arequipa, Peru. He says that hello. Well, he's writing in Spanish, but I'm going to translate for you. He says uh, hello to Eduardo, an older or a staff from RoboJam India. So he's saying hi from the uh, Robotics Club Cert 3 Cup in Arequipa, in Peru. 
uh, Maple Ball Robotics says greetings from Canada that they were able to see the video. Rafael Ponte Santana is also he already is sending us some messages. And <clears throat> all I have to say is have a good day, have a good night, be with us next time. And yeah, one more thing. Sorry, yes. I've forgotten to say that. Yes, and special thanks to all judges as well. Namaste from my side, Mr. Ro uh, Professor Rona Gadaria from India. Ms. Uh, Director of Maple Boat Robotics, Paula from Canada. Thank you so much. And Mr. Roboto, CEO of RoboJam <laughs> International. Thank you so much for helping me for my first time. Okay. We will continue helping each other in future as well. All I have Keep to supporting. say is a big hug from here, Jay. And stay with me in the, in the mid-session. Everybody else in the streaming, have a good day. Have a good night. And I'm going to go with the RoboJam salute. You're not watching me, but on the count of three, you know which one is the RoboJam salute, Jay. So we're just going to yes, say RoboJam. There you go. So we're going to go on the count of three. One, two, three. Ro Ro Bo Jam. Jam. Very good. Thank you, my friends. And have a good day. Have a good night.